Good morning. And welcome to the race vlog. Uh, I'm just eating. And I know I've been MIA for a while, but it's because I've been working off. Sorry, sensor. And uh, yeah, so I decided last minute to sign up for this race with Spencer. He is very convincing. Um, so I work tomorrow right after the race, but I really wanted my day off to be racing because I do need that transition practice before we get into the longer distance stuff. And I'm just super excited for today just to even just spend time with Spencer and go and do something that we love and just see the community again after a long winter. It will be nice to get outside in the sun. King is eager to play and I'm eating my breakfast. But we'll catch up with you guys later. Here's all of our stuff. Spencer packing the car for us. We just got a new hitch installed. And so we're able to put our bikes now on the back of our car, which is super convenient because it leaves the rest of the back for us to throw all of our stuff in. So huge win, shout out to Mike. Thanks for letting us borrow it. And we're hopefully gonna get our own very soon. And yeah, so it's making packing a lot easier. All right, we are almost ready to go. I have the coffees, that's the important thing. And yeah, we're headed off to Milton. It's supposed to take us about 50 minutes to get there. Um, but hopefully we just fly there and get good parking and figure out all of our stuff. Cause again, like first race of the season is always a little bit of running around a lot, trying to figure out what you're forgetting, what you're missing. Um, so hopefully we didn't forget anything and it is a sprint. So worst case scenario, if we did forget anything, it's going to be over in like less than two hours. So yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we didn't forget anything. Well, I know I didn't, but Spencer probably did. Aaron's got the battle braids going on. It's nice this season we get to start small and we build our way up with these sprints. Sprint, and then a long course, and then 70.3 Muskoka. Revisiting our demons is what I like to call it. It's not that we got beat that bad, but I just don't want to have a hamstring pull like I did last time. doing the triathlon today the sprint and it's his first ever triathlon I got off the phone with him the other day and uh, he's, he's riding a gravel bike he's using his mountain bike um, like satchel bag around his waist for his water bottle and his nutrition and then he's wearing a old tri suit that I have never worn before the team that I was with um, had fell apart so I just never wore it so he's gonna be wearing that so I'm super stoked to look at his kit attire get up for his first race because he's totally gonna look like a rookie <laughs> Big 
congratulations athlete 375. So Erin came third place in her age group, which is super exciting. So we're just waiting right now for rewards. On sports stats, says I came seventh in my age group out of, I think it was 48 guys. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, now we're just, just waiting, waiting for her to get another giant medal to put on the wall with everything else that we got. Yeah. There's no more room. Aaron just got called up for third place. Yeah, go. Guys and girls, we mix them. Congratulations on our 20 to 24 category. Men's and women's 25 to 29. We're going to go five deep on the men's side. Men's champion, Jesse the Elf. John Breeson is in second. Callum Darby is in third. Fran Montoya in fourth. And Justin Groff in fifth. On the women's side, our ladies champion today, Megan Howells in first. Sarah McCarthy in second. And Renata Martoni is in third. Nice. Good job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the race so I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown um, so started off started off the swim uh, feeling good it was a mass start I ended up starting uh, right at the very beginning um, I just like even though I don't have a good swim I just want to get in the competitive mindset that I'm gonna start at the front it is what it is and eventually get stronger with the swim so my pace was only two minutes it was horrible it wasn't super fast but I I beat my goal of doing it under uh, 16 minutes so it was actually 15 which is awesome so you know or it was 1459 so you know, I'll take it um, coming out of transition felt really good got to my bike and I put on socks, put my shoes on, went to go put on my helmet and my visor fell off. So I was messing around with my visor. It took me forever. I put my helmet on my head and then it fell off again. So my transition went, ended up being three minutes, which is horrible, or two minutes and 40 seconds or something like that. So um, I know right there, two things. I need to work on my swim, obviously, but you know, it's getting better. Second thing is my transitions are just something that I just don't train ever and I really need to. Um, and once I got onto the bike, everything was feeling good. Uh, we got to one of the big hills. Uh, I can't remember exactly where it is exactly. Um, but, you know, I, I've learned through gravel bike racing that hills aren't my thing. So I did not go into the hills trying to, you know, PR how fast I could go up the hill. I, I focused on my watts, which was uh, 270 uh, that I was supposed to be doing overall and just took my time with it. Uh, didn't want to blow up the legs and made sure that I had a lot of energy at the top. So when the descent came or what was, what was ever, what was after that hill, I was able to give it 100%, and I was I was good. Uh, so I ended up doing 35.9 on the bike, and then uh, getting into uh, the second transition. So just before coming off the bike, I had a gel that was maybe like three kilometers from the finish line, and I was sipping on my water too, and I got into the run, uh, which was also a shitty <laughs> transition again. Bless you. Uh, which was also a shitty transition again. It was like a minute something. So you you can see right there. Like I, I could have gained four minutes just by you know not having a, a a bad transition. So got into the run and my stomach was feeling kind of off. And so um, I ended up doing a walk run tactic, which was. Um, Basically, I'd ran a kilometer and then I'd walk for about 50 meters to 100 meters, not even. And uh, once I got close to an aid station, I just had some water. So uh, I had two cups of water. I walked in the aid station there and about two kilometers in, everything started to feel good. So the run was only <clears throat> seven kilometers total. And uh, I was able to start to really pick up my pace. And my, my pace overall was under, 
was within the four minute range and uh, I ended up finish, finishing um, in a, with a negative split, which was good. So, uh, you know, it, it just goes to show you, you gotta be careful on when you have your nutrition. So for me in the future, I'm gonna have my nutrition sooner um, on the bike before I get on the run instead of trying to like drink my water and, and pound down a gel and just hope for the best. Um, so got into the run, I saw Aaron maybe about a kilometer away from me give or take and uh, she was moving pretty good uh, and I just had in my head I'm gonna catch up to her I'm gonna catch up to her uh, unfortunately I did not catch up to her but I was very very close she didn't catch me uh, yeah but you gotta remember she had a three minute start she had a 12 minute uh, swim and she'll give you all the information on that. So, you know, I got I got pretty close, which I'm super happy with. And uh, I ended up coming seventh out of 48 guys within my age group, um, 30 to 34. So for me, that's a huge win in my eyes, top 10. Um, just goes to show that I'm improving and, uh, you know, using this uh, race, Milton Sprint Triathlon, as a training run to see where I need to work on or what I need to work on uh, for the rest of the season. We, we still have four more triathlons lined up, which is pretty sick. So that is my day. I'm feeling pretty good. So I might go back out for a gravel bike ride. Gravel, go back out for a gravel bike ride, not a race. Not, no more racing. Hello, everyone. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, so. The race was really fun. I, I liked Milton. I like doing different races so that we're not always knowing what's coming. Um, it was unexpectedly hilly, but I didn't mind that because it kind of gave the race something fun instead of it just being like a straight flat. Like the Grimsby ones are usually just kind of head down and you're just going straight and flat the entire time. So it was nice to have those hills. Um, but I guess I'll start with my swim. My swim was good. I got kicked and punched in the face quite a bit though at the beginning, which threw me off a little bit. And I was trying, I was really trying to get into that front pack, but I couldn't. So I kind of formed my own second pack behind the front pack. And I finished my swim in 12 minutes, which was pretty good, like 137 per 100. Um, so that wasn't bad. And then, yeah, bike was fine. Um, I love the tri bike over my old aluminum uh, road bike. So my tri bike, everything went perfectly. Uh, no flats, so that was great. And then my run was a little bit rough. I didn't bring my nutrition on the bike. I forgot to grab it when I left T1. So that was a mess up on my part. So I pretty much had no nutrition the entire time. So I definitely bonked a little bit in the run, but I still did a 450 pace um, in the run. And I was so close to it, so I came third overall, and I was so close to those two girls in front of me, they finished one minute um, apart from each other, and then I finished five minutes after them. So if I can just get my run time down, I feel like I can contend with them. But it was really cool seeing everyone being back in the race environment, and uh, oh my goodness. And now we are almost home. And it's really nice having races so close to home because you can just make a quick day trip and do the race and then come back. But happy to have signed up. I'm glad Spencer forced me, basically forced me to sign up. Um, and then I'm back to work tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. So I'm probably just gonna chill the rest of the day unlike Spencer uh, and fuel up and stretch and stuff but another race in two weeks yeah we do we have another race in two weeks which well in well in long course yeah yeah so a bit of bit of a longer um race but it was nice to have this shorter race um two weeks before that just to get a feel for triathlon again and the transitions and getting everything ready in the race environment and all that so it was definitely worth it and yeah 